Hey everyone, it's Matthew Reinhardt here and I'm back doing art class. Yes, I took a little time off because I was really, 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 really busy with some other work and I couldn't get to it. You know, sometimes we all need a little vacation, right? Um, anyways, but we're back. We're back with doing art class. Yay, we're still, we're still locked in. Still here. And um, hey, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all healthy. Um, I know we're all going a little crazy, but we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, you know, be here for each other and we gotta, we gotta, you know, do our best. And, um, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here to do an art class with you all. Um, and, uh, today, Ooh, we're going to do something fun. We are going to make something out of this. We, I'm sure everyone's seen a lot of these all over the place. Um, paper towel tube. Look down there. Hmm, what could we make out of this? Hmm. I mean, I'm seeing so many of these. I have so many. Now, um, now I, for this, for this art class today, we're going to use a regular paper towel tube rather, but you could, I suppose, use two, um, toilet paper tubes, but, um, let's use a, if you, if you have it, just one of, um, these, uh, paper towel tubes, what we're going to do is we're going to make a blooming flower, um, with something like this. So isn't that cool? We're going to use this. So that's what we're going to need. We're going to need that. We're going to need some tissue paper. See, I just have a bunch of tissue paper here. Um, so you'll need some tissue paper, or you could probably use Kleenex if you have Kleenex available that, you know, cause not everybody has tissue paper like that. Um, maybe, um, some, con some green construction paper or cardstock or whatever color you want. Actually, you could use any color. I'm going to use green. Um, let's see some markers. We're going to need markers to color stuff. Um, we might need, okay. Oh yeah, definitely tape. And today I think I want to use two types of tape. I want to use um, one sided tape like this, um, that's, uh, like clear, uh, you can use that. Um, double sided tape would be nice if you have the two sided tape, you know, it's sticky on both sides. And, um, I really need for you to use a little bit of masking tape. If you have masking tape, this is just like regular old masking tape. If you got it around, you can use the one sided, um, clear tape, but this masking tape will be really helpful for just one section of our project. Let's see what else we need. We need scissors. Um, I did say we use markers or um, crayons or something like that. Something to color with. Are we ready to get started? Ooh, let's get started. All right. First up, what we need to do is we need to take our paper towel roll here mm -hmm. and we're going to cut it into two pieces. Ooh, please don't no, be careful. No, we're going to cut it into two pieces. We're going to use a pencil. Oh, I forgot to say use a pencil. Um, we're going to, we're going to probably, let's see, we're going to have one um, part that's shorter than the other. So we don't, we're not going to do it in half. We're actually going to do it so that one section is a little shorter than the other, kind of like this. And if you want to measure it, let's see what we'll, we'll give you a measurement because some people like to use their ruler. Let's say, let's make one part about four and a half inches. Okay. Let's move in there. Let's see. All right. Let's see. About, we're going to make a line about four and a half inches. Right about there. Let's go around. Maybe I'll measure it here again, just in case. That's what I like to do. I like to make sure that I measure like a bunch of times there. That's good. Maybe I'll do it right there too. Mm -hmm. The next thing we're going to do is once we've made that line going around, that's, uh, measures off about four and a half inches or so, we're going to cut it. See, look at, I just start doing stuff and I don't even tell you, we're going to use our scissors. And if you need help, um, like with somebody who like maybe a parent or somebody who's better with scissors than you by all means ask them. Cause sometimes it's hard to cut out, um, these, these, um, paper towel rolls. So get some help because if you can't, but we're just going to cut along the line just like this. Okay. So we got two pieces, right? One is shorter than the other. Have you caught up? All right, great. Um, so we're going to take the taller one. You go aside there. And what we're going to do is we're going to slit it right up there with our scissors straight up to the top. Because what we want to do is we want to make this one fit inside this one. And we can't unless it's just a little bit narrower. So what we're going to do is we're going to slit it up this side of our paper towel roll. And then we're going to tape it going down. So let's just go like this. One, two, three. I don't know why I'm counting. <laughs> We're just going to cut it right down the middle, just like that. See how I did that? 
Were you able to cut it? Did you catch up? All right, good. And then we're going to take some of this tape. Now this tape, let me pull over my tape thing so you can see it. This is, see I have a little dispenser with all different kinds of tape. Uh, but not everybody has it, but we will need double stick tape. And we're going to put some double stick tape just on this edge here. Oops, got to put down there really good. Make sure it sticks. All right, see how I did that? Right on the edge. And what we're going to do is we're going to put double stick going all right down this side, just like this. See how I'm doing that? Very carefully and make sure you press it down onto the cardboard really well. See, and that's sticky side up. Just like that. So I put the double stick tape going down and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like fold it over on itself. See how I did that? I'm just making my tube thinner just like that. See how I did that? See how that looks? So it's overlapping. See how the part where the tape is, it overlaps and this one goes right on top and you can just kind of press it with your fingers. All right, you're going to go along there and see. And now watch this one fits inside the other one. Let's see, does it fit? Yeah, I did it. See, look, it goes inside. Look at that. It fits inside pretty easily. That's pretty cool. So your the first one should fit inside the other one now because we've overlapped it so that it's a narrower tube. And if you want, if it's too hard to do it this way with double stick, you can also just use regular tape, I guess, and you could do it on the outside. If you wanted, you could put it here just like this. Love to add some tape. All right. That could work too. But we need to make sure that it fits inside, which this does. Really fits inside quite well. All right. So we've got these two tubes. One's tall and narrow and one's shorter and normal. And we're going to put them aside for a second. Then we're going to take some of our, hmm, some of this green paper or whatever color paper if you want to use, um, or, or cardstock or construction paper or whatever. We need it to be a little bit tougher than regular paper, okay? So it needs to be just a, uh, quite a bit tougher, th thicker. So cardstock or construction paper would work. And we're gonna cut a strip just along here. And I think we're gonna cut it about this thin. We're gonna cut it along that whole edge just like that. See I did that? And if, if someone, if you really want a measurement, it's about a half inch wide. It's just a long strip, just like that. All right, so we've got our strip. And the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to tape the top of this to the center of this. And in fact, what I think I'm going to do Let's see, does that look like it's in the center? That looks pretty good, right? Let's see, that's pretty good. Now here's how I'm gonna do this. First I'm gonna measure it a little. I'm gonna lay it on top. Let me use my pencil. So there and there. So that's where I'm gonna mark it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our masking tape. Now the reason why we're using masking tape is because masking tape, it has some fibers in the tape. There's fibers in there and it, and it and because this flower is going to have to move and bloom a lot, we want to make sure there are fibers in there so that the tape doesn't break after all. Because sometimes when you use clear plastic tape, it can break because, you know, uh, if you move it over and over and over again, um, it wears out the plastic. So that's why we need to use masking tape. And what I'm going to do is the masking tape's a little too thick. So what I'm going to do is my, with my scissors is I'm going to make it thinner by cutting it like this. Oops, let's get rid of that extra tape there. We don't need that. There. Get off my fingers. Get off. Get off. Get off. Okay. 
Now we're going to use a piece of tape like this. I'm going to put this one right over here because I'm going to use that later. But we're going to cut it in two just like that. Okay, so that's two pieces of masking tape. Now put some on this side of our line and I'm going to I'm going to fold it up kind of like that. See how I did that? That's really bright. Look at that. See I put it on there like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thin I'm going to take the thin um, tall tube and I'm going to tape it to that side just like that. See how I did that? It's kind of like flopping on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to fold it down and I'm going to use my other piece and remember, I've cut this thin, so it, it shouldn't go over the edge. Like, you shouldn't have tape going over the edge. It should fit on this um, strip. And see what I did? Is I taped it on both sides. See, I taped it on this side, and I taped it on that side. All righty, you caught up? All right, cool. Now, let's use our other piece of masking tape that we cut. And we're going to cut this in half, just like we did before. And on one side, what we're going to do is we're going to add our masking tape just like this. I'm going to fold it a little going that way. This is, this is kind of precise, right? All right, so see how I did that? So let's fold it, and I'm going to just tape it going across. Now, we want to make sure that our tape, see my tape, if you look underneath it, you can't really see it, but it didn't really go down the way it should have. I'm just going to use my pencil to make and flatten it. See, just like that. Or you could stick your finger in there, make sure it's flattened. Let's stick my finger in there a little. All right, so it's taped on one side. And what do we do? Since we do it both sides on this side, we're going to do it both sides here. So there's my other piece of masking tape, and I'm going to tape it. Just on the bottom. See how I did that? And then, all right, so we've got it. We've got the strip and it's taped both sides. And the reason why we want to tape it both sides, we want to make sure it's good and strong. All right? It's good and strong. All right. So we have this first one done. This is the thinner, taller tube and it has this strip taped to the top underneath with masking tape on this side and on the inside. Now, we're gonna put the shorter tube on the outside and we're gonna, we're gonna pull it up to about, oh, I don't know, about there. That looks good. See how those the paper kind of sticks up like that? Let's see, how's that look? Oh, that's gonna be good. Now, we need some more masking tape. And we're going to do the same thing as we did before. Remember how we hit, sort of cut it into thinner strips and then cut it into two for each side? So I'm just going to put these right here. So that, again, this is masking tape. And I just made sure, we need to make sure that it's cut into strips so that it's thin enough to fit on our little strip. So there's our four strips of masking tape right there. And we are going to tape it the outside of this tube. So there's that. Oh, oh, wait, make sure it's in a good place. Let's see. Let's pull it down. Oops. Look at that. I made a mistake. Ugh. I am the king of mistakes. Now, if you make mistakes along the way, this is important to see, right? Because if you make a mistake, look, all you got to do is pull off the tape and let's get some more tape. See, we all make mistakes all the time. I am the, I make so many and sometimes it's great when you have a mistake because then you learn from it, right? I sure do. Well, sometimes I do. Here, now I have extra tape just in case I need it. All right, let's do this again. Let's take our thinner tube that I showed you before with the strip taped to it. We're going we're gonna to make sure it goes inside the shorter one. See, we can kind of slide it up and down. And we're going to pull it down, oh, I don't know about to there. You can eye it. 
And now I'm going to use some tape and I'm going to put my finger behind. See how I put my finger behind it to hold it up? Now I'm going to tape it down to this side just like this. And I'm going to use my fingernail. See, sometimes I use my fingernail to make sure the tape goes on the, into that groove there. Press it real tight. So that I did one side with the masking tape. All right, we caught up. We did one side. Let's do the other side. Take another piece of this very thin masking tape. We're going to tape it to this side. And I'm, again, I kind of get it. See how I get the tape in the groove there between the two? You don't have to do that, but it does help. So now it's attached to both. And now look, watch what I can do. Watch when I push this on the bottom, watch. It pushes out. It's pretty cool, huh? But the only trouble is, see the tape comes up a little. So what we got to do is we got to make sure that the tape goes back down. See how the tape is? Should be pretty tight there. This is what it did look like. See how the tape on this side and this side came up? We got to be real careful and we got to push it back so it's around there, right? So that the tape is back down. We're going to use some more of our masking tape and we're going to slide it in to tape it. Let's see if we can do this. This is going to be a little tough. Slide it in here. The thing is, you got to tape it to the, the, the tube from both sides. So see how I taped it in there? So it's taped on both sides. So now it's going to be really strong. We got to do it on the other side too. So see how I did now it's nice. It's lined up. We're going to just stick this tape real carefully inside here. There you go. And then it's going to tape to this side, just like that. So now when we go like this and this, there we go. Oh, you don't want to twist it. Don't twist it. You just want to make sure it goes up and down. See how it goes up and down? It does it real well, actually. It's kind of cool, right? So now we can start turning this into a flower. And we're going to put the flower in this part right here. And we're going to put leaves on those so it looks like it grows. And maybe even we'll make a base too. So let's put this aside. This is our base machine. This is like our mechanic, mechanical part. All right, now let's get to decorating. So let's get some tissue paper and let's make a flower. And what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to cut like a, a square. Hmm, I think I'll cut my square about, oh, this big. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's see, how many layers do I have? Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three. Those are pretty close to squares. I mean, they're a little off, right? So here's how we could, we're gonna, we're gonna cut ourselves a really cool, if this is my center, Okay, so this is the center of my square, right there, this is the center, okay. One, two, you know what I'm gonna do to mark the center of my square? I'm gonna, where's a marker? Oh, I'm just gonna, just so I know, that's the center, okay. Okay, so there's one square. Let's do three. You could do three layers of tissue paper if you want. Okay, so they're all, and we're going to fold it in half going one way, and we're going to fold it in half going another way. And what we're going to do is we're just going to use our scissors to cut a pattern on the edge to look like a flower. So this is the center. If you wanted, you could fold it going this way too. Ooh, that could be kind of cool. And then I'm just going to cut it like with, with a rounded edge, kind of like, and I'm cutting through all those layers all at once. Whoa, that's nice. So that's what I did. So now we're unfolding it. And we should have some flower pieces. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, that's a nice flower. So see how they made like the pattern and flowers? So we're going to one, two, three. 
little flower parts. Oh, I should have done different colors. You could do different colors if you want. In fact, oh, maybe I should do that. Do I have some more tissue paper? Where's my tissue paper? Okay, I got some more tissue paper. I got more tissue paper. All right, so I need to make one more of these, but I wanna make a different color in between. You could use different colors of tissue paper. You could use the same. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make another one that's kind of in the same shape because I just think that would be pretty. When I, don't you think? Don't you think? I think. Let's see, I'm just gonna quickly cut it, even though this isn't the way I did the other one. You could do it in quarters, you could do it in, in, in different sections. It doesn't matter how you cut, it doesn't matter what the shape is. You could have a pointy flower, you could have a rounded flower, it doesn't matter. I just wanna have a different layer. So what I'm gonna do, see that flower part? It's gonna go in between this one and that one. Ooh, that's kinda nice. Ooh, I like that. So I have three different um, layers of flour. Let me use this one. Oop, let's do that. Did you catch up? Okay, so you got your three layers. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some double stick tape, just like this. See this, it's double stick. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it in the middle. I'm gonna maybe make it as a s little square. There, I made a little square of it. I'm gonna just stick it in the center, just like that, of, the, of this first tissue, piece of tissue paper. Or Kleenex, or whatever you wanna use. Okay, there's one. And then we're, I'm gonna use this different color one, and then I'm just gonna stick it right on top, just like this. All right, so now they're stuck together. And then maybe I'll do one more. And I'll add just a little square of double stick right in the center of that tissue paper and stick the last one on top. That's cool. Now, if you want, let's see what we could do. Hmm. Well, we'll get to that decorating later. All right. So now we're going to take this and we're going to use some double stick and we're going to double stick this to right here. And that's going to be our flower. So. I'm gonna use, I think I'll use the, a strip about this big. And we're gonna, you're just gonna tape it right to the top here. Just like that. Don't make sure you don't get any of the double stick over the edge there. And if you do, just fold it over on itself. There you go, it's pretty good. Or you could use your scissors and cut it. All right, now we're gonna tape this on top. Make sure it's kind of centered. Just like that. Make sure that that's centered there and press it down on that top piece. Okay, so did you do it? Did you tape that in place with the double stick? There we go. Now, let's see if this works. One, two, three. We're gonna pull this down. One, two, three, go. And then one, two, three, open. Whoa, look. We got our very own blooming flower. Look at that, that's so cool. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I love that. You know what we could do? I've got an idea. We could add more, let's add more tissue things on top. So we could add smaller, um, ooh, that's cool. Oh, now I've got some fun ideas. Now we can really start to dress it up. Now that we know that it works, we can start adding stuff to it. So maybe I'll add smaller um, flower, uh, like round flower sections. I'm gonna just do a couple like this. I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller. And I think I'm gonna do the same for some of my other color. There we go, I'm just gonna cut it just like I did before. Mm-hmm, 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 okay. Now, we can put that on top of there. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, I like it. And how do we do it? We tape it in the center. We use a small square of double stick in the center of our tissue, just like that. Let me tape it to the center. And when we, when we make a, oops, let's make sure it's, there we go, tight. Now, when we pull this down, we push it back up. Oh, now we're starting to see some nice dimensions. Ooh, that's nice. And if it kind of pulls in a weird way, you can flatten it. 
so that it goes in. Let's make sure it goes in. Let's see. Goes in, comes out. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. So you can add a few more layers in there. Now, on the outside, if you want, we can add a little uh, one-sided tape. Let's see, where is that one-sided tape? Let's get this. We can add a little bit here just to secure it. Never hurts. And this time we're going to use some clear tape because we, we're going to see it. See, we can't see that masking tape really. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tape it a little, just going right here, just in case, just to secure it. See how I did that? And let's do it a little bit on the other side too. And I, I cut the tape so that it wasn't too wide because we don't want any extra tape that's sticky to be exposed because then that could, that could make our mechanism not work very well. So we need to make sure everything is in place. Look at that. Ooh, ah, look at that flower. That's so cool. Now we can really start decorating this. Now we can start to, we can start making some leaves. So let's put leaves on there. I decorated it. Well, what I did was I took off my the leaves I had before and then I added some extra paper I had and I rolled it around just the top part. This bottom part we got to leave alone. Okay, we got to leave that alone. But then I just added these leaves on the outside and there this is there it is all right there. So all we got to do is psh, and there is our blooming flower psh, and it goes up and hides. Look at those leaves hide it. And you know what else I thought would be really cool to do to this? I let's make a base. So it will stand, like it can already stand, but let's make something, I made this little shape. It could be a circle, it could be sort of a weird shape like this. What I'm just gonna do, so I'm gonna use some one-sided tape and tape it along the bottom and just tape this down just like this. So it stands up. Then you can display your bloom and flower. Oh my God, this is so much fun. This is more fun than I thought it was gonna be. Now, I prefer real flowers, but if you can't go outside and get real flowers, look at, you can make your own and they bloom. Look at that. Okay, I put that little um, stand on there so it stands up. You could add all kinds of different things like maybe if you had, um, uh, you could put a caterpillar down there or you could put, you know, you could just decorate this. You can put marker stuff all over it. You can do whatever you want. So we made our very own bloom and flower from a paper towel roll. Look at that. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk something I found in the garbage or in the recycling? I could turn it into something so beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, oh, there's a flower. Oh, there's our flower that we made with tissue paper. Thanks everybody for joining me today. I hope you caught up and you were able to make your very own blooming flower. Um, this is Matthew Reinhardt. I hope you enjoyed today's art class and I'm finally back. We'll have more this week and more coming up for you. And, um, and we're doing all kinds of weird, different um, art projects together. While we're still all in lockup, you know, we all have to stay healthy and stay, um, stay well and stay, stay kind. Be kind to others. Do whatever you can to help everybody. Remember, we all are staying in because we, we have to do our part um, and, and not, spread, um, not spread the virus. So um, just remember, um, we're all in this together, right? And uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed getting creative. I love you and miss you. See you later. Bye-bye.